Irving police say the man three officers shot and killed last Friday was wanted for murder. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Irving PD says the dead man was a suspect for a murder that happened the night before. Police say he shot and killed a man sitting in a parked car. And when a team of officers found him, they say he pulled out a handgun and pointed it at them. Irving police have so far decided not to release any body camera video from this incident. Fox 4's Amelia Jones live at the Irving Police Department with the story. Amelia? Steve, Irving police are investigating a homicide and an officer-involved shooting. The two incidents happening within 24 hours of each other last week. Right now, as you mentioned, police are not releasing any body camera or dash camera footage, but police did share how the two investigations are connected. Well, I just heard a bunch of gunfire. The sound woke Doug Vines up. Of course, the sirens, you know. They pulled up in the front there. Vines moved into the Willows apartments a few months ago. He told Fox 4 this isn't the first time he's woken up to gunshots. There's been quite a few shootings going on. Police say Thursday around 9.30 p.m., a man was shot and killed in the apartment complex parking lot. Police identified the victim as 37-year-old Juan Carlos Piedra Ceballos. They say the shooter, who lived at the apartments, came out of his unit to kill him. Witnesses at the location identified our suspect, Carlos Monguia, 40 years, 40 years old of Irving, as our suspect that was having no conversation with that victim, walked up to his vehicle and just began shooting into the car. Police say Monguia ran away. The Irving Police Fugitive Unit found him less than 24 hours later on Friday. Officers approached him in the area of West State Highway 183 near the Trinity Broadcasting Network building. Giving him verbal commands to get on the ground. He turned, pulled his handgun out that was loaded and pointed it at the officers. Officer Reeves told Fox 4 this is when three officers fired at Munguia. According to police, officers provided medical aid. He was taken to Parkland Hospital and died from his injuries. There were no Irving officers that were hurt in this incident. There was no continued threat to the public. Irving police say they are not releasing body camera or dash camera footage right now. Officer Reeve says they're doing this to protect a potential grand jury that might see the video. Police told Fox 4 Munguia wasn't a stranger to the department. We do have a previous history with him in Irving where he has committed an assault uh, by using a uh, knife as a, as a weapon. Officer Reeves shared Munguia also had assault and drug charges out of Florida. This is definitely someone we didn't want to just put a warrant out for and hope that we found him in a later date. He had already shown that his willingness to kill somebody, um, he still was known to have the weapon on his person, and that's why our officers were looking for him to protect the public. Irving police are still investigating the relationship between the 37-year-old victim, Piedro Ceballos, and Munguia, and why Piedro Ceballos was at the apartment complex that night. Right now, police say they don't have a motive behind the shooting. Heather, Steve, 